Hey, Rick Hirsch here, um, Chief Editor of Corona Samizdat, and uh, today I'm going to be talking about what's coming this year, maybe a little about what happened last year, and uh, also about uh, a new feature uh, from our organization, a film that we're going to be uh, releasing, feature film, we'll be releasing in the spring this year. Uh, so because there will be a little bit of uh, film talk and here is a still <clears throat> from our film. The film is called Portrait of a Man Drowning and some of you may know where that came from. Um, it's uh, like much of what happens in the film and how it's done as an homage um, and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let you puzzle that out. Meanwhile, I'm going to do a sophisticated um, impersonation of a character in a Robert, Robert Brasson film watching his beloved wife being game ra gang, gang raped by Cossacks. Okay, on three. One, two, three. Okay, that was it. Um, I was just having a, a conversation with my my um, director. His name is Sasha Muniza. He's right there, but he won't talk um, today because of uh, what? What was the reason? Imposter syndrome. Ah, ah, imposter syndrome. No, no, that w wasn't it. It wasn't it. It was something to do ah because we we had a scheduled. Basically, the, we're very close to the, we are at the point of editing the film, and that process is going to begin with a trailer, and he's working on a trailer right now, and what's, what happens during the editing process is we find out what needs to be reshot, and we know, we've known for some time that one of our, our scenes, luckily it takes place in the elevator right outside um, my my door one floor down um, we need to uh, reshoot um, from a different angle a conversation that took place in there and uh, you know I'm learning a lot about film um, I, I don't think uh, uh, Sasha is pleased that he's teaching me all this because the reason he is is that we have no one else. Um, we have other people that are acting in the film, all amateurs, and um, in almost every case, uh, they exceeded our expectations. Um, uh, really did did a great job, and um, uh, we we um, worked without a script because the main reason that uh, this happened uh, is because uh, Sasha is a former student of mine and in English and um, but in a, a, a technical school um, maritime and and um, some other shit I don't know and uh, you know he was really uh, uh, he, he should have been in film school and he's a film aficionado and he's often been asked to do film work, camera work, and uh, um, documentaries, and so on. But um, uh, I, I had him doing an ad for Osa Karana Samizdat, and um, for the uh, gold uh, edition of America and the Cult of the Cactus Boots. And uh, that was a while ago. Um, this spring, it'll be two years. And I, it occurred to me that, you know, he, he was now about almost the age I was when I taught him. <clears throat> and I thought, he's never going to make a film if, if, you know, somebody doesn't push him. And I, I came up with an idea for a film that was... Um, good enough that 
he he agreed to uh, tear apart the idea and, and if I would rebuild it. And, uh, and so that's what we've been doing for the last two years is um, uh, working with uh, on the rebuild of the ruins of my idea. And uh, uh, I, we, we were talking just now about how we would describe the, the movie. And I'm not ready. Uh, you got a headache? No, no. Okay, so something to do with the sound? Okay. Uh, he was doing this. Um, you know, I'm not supposed to make him talk. Uh, but I got worried, you know, because he was, you know, uh, when I'm like that, it's a migraine. Anyway, um, uh, the, the, I asked him if we could have a couple of stills because I joined Twitter, um, which I've always, you know, despised. Like, I, you know, I despise Elon Musk. He's got this one commercial that comes on YouTube all the time. Every news show I watch, you know, is interrupted by uh, Elon Musk. I don't remember the first thing he says, but it's something like, uh, uh, you know, because you came here, then you, I don't know. I'm Elon Musk, and uh, I have um, an important uh, gift for you, or something like that. You know, and and, and it basically. It's a fake he, commercial. Yeah, well, it, it's a, um, it's a, it's like a. He, he's the the great millionaire Elon Musk is is like a a a, a, a degraded con, you know, uh, using the the fucking uh, anyway. That's artificial intelligence. He didn't do that commercial. He didn't do that commercial. No, that's not him. I'll show you later. I'll explain later. Okay, so um, I was taken in by uh, a, a, a more sophisticated con. Anyway, but I, 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 um, I'm I sick of seeing him all over, and I, I, I realize the one place you don't see him is on Twitter um, or X. Um, I never thought I would even use the word Twitter. or I don't think I've ever in... in serious adult conversation use the word tweet um, but I am not calling it X um, but I, I joined that platform and why did I join that platform well I did it because um, I heard that somebody was um, posting a lot about a bended circuity by Robert Stickley. Uh, it's, this book uh, is a, a masterpiece, 600 some pages. Let me tell you exactly. Um, 592 pages, and uh, um, and it, it uh, very elevated prose and 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 um, satire. And, well, it's it's a great book. Um, and I was thinking about it today, uh, you know, and how, how would I describe it? I'd say, you know, like, Stickley is like a guy who didn't need to write those first five novels before getting to his masterpiece. You know, there, this was his first book, you know, and uh, he, he's an honest guy. And if he, told, if he had written a bunch of other books that he threw away, I, I would know. He would have told me. Um, no, this is something he wanted to do. He set his mind to it. He did it. And somebody, uh, people, a lot of people have recognized the genius of this book, but somebody was posting it on Twitter, and um, I know a couple of people who, are, who use Twitter, and uh, they, they, I heard that he was becoming followed or whatever. I don't know. And and then I ran out of copies, and I started getting uh, st emails from people asking when I was going to get uh, a Bendered Circuity back. And it, it took a while, a uh, couple of weeks. We had no copies. And as soon as I got it back in stock, it started selling again. And uh, it's rarely a day goes by that I don't sell another copy. Uh, I've never seen anything like it. Even even the American, the Cult of the Cactus Boots, 
which is hovering near the 1,000 sales mark, which is, you know, completely unbelievable to me, you know, that the small Slovene press can do that. Um, it, the cactus boots just, uh, you know, you know how cactus are. They just, no matter what you do, uh, they live. And um, that book is uh, surviving in every climate known to human society which may leave out Israel I'm not sure um, well that okay I well, can't get into that um, we'll see what the court has to say um, I, I say stop killing babies my, my my sophisticated opinion stop killing babies you know so uh, where was I so I joined Twitter because of that but then uh, I thought, well, you know, the movie is so far along. Um, uh, if if uh, the director didn't have to work, we would be done by now. But he's been doing all the work um, of uh, a film crew. You know, when you see the credits at the end of a film, when you see our, our film... Um, I think we're, you know, he's he's a humble guy, um, so you know, we I don't know the the how many grips are involved in most feature films. I don't know, but a lot. I'm I'm not sure. Okay, so we're you know like dozens. Uh, give me two examples of two types of grip that would be in the credits. Well. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, but, you know, you'd see all these grips. Yeah. Like, I don't even know what they do. Do they hold something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. With the lights and stuff. Yeah, okay. You know, all, all these things. Uh, um, it would all be Sasha Muniz. Uh, and he doesn't want his name like that. So it, uh, I think it'll, it will list uh, um, the actors and actresses um, and uh, uh, will give credit to people who did music for us. And um, and then <clears throat> then we'll say uh, uh, I don't know if we'll give him editing credit because it's more or less obvious, um, but I think we'll just say uh, um, um, maybe we'll, maybe we'll say one thing like uh, special uh, thanks for example. Special no, no special thanks. No, no. You know you can't. It's your film. You can't thank yourself. Uh, give me yeah, some important role. Something. What would you really? Editorial assistant would have been good, huh? Yeah, yeah. Um, editorial assistants, Sasha Muniza, um, and me, um, Rick Harsh, because I, I helped him. So um, we would give ourselves that, and then everything else, Sasha Muniza. It's the only way to put it. And so anyway. Uh, Really, I'm really uh, pleased with this. Uh, we're gonna go on. We're we're going to. I just here's coincidence for you. I got this book out because uh, I was telling my doctor about it. I got a new doctor, and uh, it's called uh, Wandering Stone: The Streets of Old Isola. And he told me he'd like a copy, and so uh, um, you know, um, I don't know if I need to to show it. No, no, no. Where is it? Good here. Yeah, can you see it? You can't. I can't. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Well, you can hear me. Okay. So, um, yeah, uh, we're going to uh, try to get some money together and do a um, documentary of that book. You know, because that's where I was. Where I am right now. We're in, we're on two streets that are in that book where they intersect right below us. Um, and then there's a street, you know, if you get people are drinking, you can hear them out the window over there. It's a small Mediterranean, Venetian-style town, you old fishing village. Anyway, so I asked uh, Sasha today, can you send me a couple of stills? I don't even know how you make a still. Um, I, I, I mean, I know in, in America a still is how you make whiskey, but these are movie stills. And this is one... This this day, um, <clears throat> this scene, um, I'm not going to give too much away, but 
This scene is called, uh, um, by us, it's called The Dream of the Therapist. And uh, uh, the sky that day was extraordinary. It was summer, and and there were, there were, uh, I think, you know, one thing that's fascinating about the sky is you look out, and there are always at least two aspects that strike you. And this day, there were about 15 aspects. You know, it, it reminds me of uh, narration. Most books have one or two narrators, but then occasionally a book like The Obscene Bird of Night, which has just been re-released and I've ordered it, um, has 11 to 14 narrators. Um, and, uh, well, anyway, that was, that was a tremendous sky. I don't know if this picture gets that across. It does get across, uh, that's me, uh, my, my height. Uh, I'm taller than that fucking chimney, which is pretty tall. I see it from my balcony. Um, now we're going to go to uh, Twitter or X, if I can get out of here. Um, see, see what I, uh, all right, be patient with me because, you know, I'm not um, an expert at anything really. Uh, X. Okay, uh, there we go. X. Okay, uh, posts. All right. So I posted on Twitter a still from that same dream of the therapist. I don't know if I'm, can I tell them that who, who John is in this yes, scene? The therapist. Yeah. Okay, there's the therapist right there. Um, you, to look at him, you might think, can I make this bigger? Yeah, just double click on the, in the center. Uh, on the center. Yeah. Okay, I didn't do that. Uh, okay. First one click. Okay. And now try to double click. Double click. Or rotate the mouse uh, wheel in the center. Try rotating it. So, no, you would have to download it first. Okay, never mind. Uh, this is John Dixon. He's uh, the therapist in the movie. He plays the therapist. And this is his dream. Um, and, uh, you know, look, look at that, that sky. Look at that sky. And, of course, we've got the uh, um, Sergio Leone-style uh, um, shot, which is, you know, just it cracks me up every time I watch this scene. And this is a, a a Mediterranean pine, and here's some cypresses. Um, it's an ex extraordinary <clears throat> setup. The, you know, everything's just, just the ruins and so on. Just right for uh, whatever. I'm not going to tell you what's happening here. You probably think it's a gunfight. Well, maybe, maybe not. Anyway. We'll we'll be ha we'll we'll have I will post and uh, maybe do a little bit um, on the uh, trailer when the time comes, and at some point we'll get uh, Sasha on here, um, you know, facing the camera and do a little interview to talk about the film and to uh, um, what else I don't know, but uh, talk about cinema in general. I I. I, I, since I've done this, oh, let me just tell you the reason we're doing this today instead of filming. Uh, I do this all the time. As more as I get older, I get I get distracted and I don't ever come back. And uh, well, the reason we're not filming is because this headband, um, the one I've worn the most in the last 15 years of my life, was. Um, not the right headband for tonight's shooting. Uh, what was the right one? Well, this one, which we used last week. And uh, um, anyway, I guess I fucked up. Um, again. Again. This is the right one. Yeah, this is the right one. But last week, I. anyway, we realized that you know, a year and a half ago when we first filmed with a headband, it was this one. And last week I, I, I 
I couldn't find this one and and eventually I found this one and I, I thought oh that's it that's it and then when I saw this later I thought hey, that wasn't it I called attention to it and turns out you know you got to do everything the same everything the same you know this is these this uh, these glasses um, you know uh, I have I keep in this drawer so that I, I always in fact, I'll put them in right now so that I have them I always have a pen in the pocket um, for this scene I have to have a knife um, and uh, you know that there's the knife and uh, it's this shirt and the pants have uh, uh, holes in them and uh, but I can't throw them away these shoes I bought these a year and a half ago because uh, I had a, a little problem with uh, my Achilles and these worked out really well you know easy to put on and uh, now we're getting to the trivial and um, you know so Maybe you're starting to feel like this is a Tarkovsky film, but um, my life may be a Tarkovsky film, but this isn't. I'll tell you more about this over time. Uh, I just wanted to say hello and tell you, ah, what's coming up this year? Well, we got the, the last book Chandler Broussard wrote. Um, that'll be our next publication. And then we got a lot of, a lot of books that look like they're going to be very interesting. The Year of the Plague Rat by uh, first novelist Randall Leong, um, the illustrated uh, version of Memoirs of a Midget. Right now we've got two illustrations. If any of you out there want to illustrate one page, the experiment is to have people read the book and see different midgets. Um, and, you know, uh, and different styles because anybody who reads a book you know the the if you want to read a bended circuity um, you're gonna have a, a Robert Stickley telling you what his people look like but no two of us are going to see it the same and that you can't say that for this one because you know they he's drawing you know people here and you know Nancy Reagan is in here and and she looks like Nancy Reagan. Um, well, even Friedenberg's hands, which, uh, you know, you know, oh boy. Um, is this too close? Anyway, so, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, it, 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 it's a principle in most fiction. We all see the people our own way, no matter how they're described. If you say hey, he had a face like a pig, well, we'll all think of people we know who had pig faces and um, and they'll be different so uh, that's the experiment with the illustrations so other books coming out plenty of them tell you later thank you for tuning in and uh, if you watched this much I'd have to say you were probably uh, um, probably lost your remote a or, Tarkovsky fan or a Tarkovsky fan yes okay uh, you want to see my Robert Bresson uh, Robert Bresson uh, character watching watching uh, people turn him off <laughs>